in the last video we have discussed about osmium tetroxide which is used to prepare vicinal diol from alkenes in this video we will be discussing about selenium dioxide oxidation so so let's start so this is basically selenium dioxide and this is used for oxidation of allylic carbon that means the allylic hydrogen attached the allylic hydrogen the allylic hydrogen that means the hydrogen attached to the allylic carbon this gets oxidized to OH group. Again, this selenium dioxide is also used in oxidation of active methylene group. That is oxidation of active methylene group. That is active CH2. So what is active CH2 group? Active CH2 group is the CH2 which is attached to a electron withdrawing or group or we can say uh, it's attached to a ketone so if so this one is a active CH2 group because it is attached to a electron withdrawing keto group that means this hydrogen this hydrogen is acidic okay Now talking about the selectivity of the reaction. Now if you have two double bond, if we have two double bond, so the oxidation will take place in the more electron rich double bond. Oxidation at more electron rich double bond or you can say oxidation at more substituted double bond the oxidation will be a selective the oxidation will take place oxidation will take place with e selectivity that means trans so the product after the alkene after getting oxidized to alcohol will be trans the e selective right then oxidation inside ring wherever possible or wherever applicable you can say that means you have if you have a ring system and if you have a same substituted uh, chain system the oxidation will take place inside the ring so we will uh, look at the examples afterwards and this selenium dioxide oxidation this aco2 oxidation is a type of in reaction and a 2 3 sigma tropic type reaction now let's see how it works that means we will look at the mechanism of the reaction, right? So what is the mechanism? So we will discuss two types of mechanism because one is the oxidation of the allylic hydrogen to alcohol and another one is the oxidation of active methylene CH2 into a ketone. So first look at the oxidation of allylic hydrogen. 
let's say we have this R substituent. This is the allylic carbon, and this is our allylic hydrogen. And we have selenium oxide, right? So the first step is basically a two, three sigma tropic type reaction. The two, three sigma tropic type reactions. So So we'll get this one double bond. We will get, sorry, we will get selenium and this is OH. This is double bond O sorry. and this is a substitution. Again, what happened? So just uh, Erase this one. So we are erasing and then giving it. So just uh, this one making something. So you reverted this thing. Okay. So again, what happens? In type reaction will take place. So in type reaction. That gives a double bond and this one O S E O H. OSC is fine. Now, if we do a workup, if we do an acidic workup, we will end up with this alcohol. Fine. So, this is the first case. That means the oxidation of allylic CH. Okay. So in the second case, we will see the oxidation of the second case, we will see the oxidation of what next is the, the mechanism for oxidation of active methylene group. Right. So basically we have this is our group, this is our keto. This is let's say R dash or R prime, and this is our active methylene carbon. So this is our active methylene hydrogen, right? So same type of reaction will take place. So we have first step we will get R prime. This is not R. They will get a double bond. They will get a O selenium OH. Second step, we will get then with the one that is R prime O selenium. OH, which we are getting it's R. So what happens in the next step? We have an acidic hydrogen over here. This hydrogen goes here. Selenium goes here. This acts as well. So Selenium gets out of the reaction as well as water leaves the reaction. So we will end up with this diketone. So this is all about the mechanism. So this has a special name. This oxidation has a special name that is the oxidation uh, of the active methylene group. It has a special name that is called relay oxidation. Yeah. 
now let's take some example let's do so uh, so i have previously told that the oxidation will be at the more substituted double bond that that is the more electron rich double bond and the oxidation will be e selective that means we will end up with a trans product and if there is a ring present then the oxidation will take place inside the ring so we will see some examples and after looking at the examples those points which i told just now that will be more clear to you right so let's take some example let's say we have a substituted double bond we have a ch3 group over here we have a ch3 group over here c your year we have a hydrogen so this is so this is a double bond so this one is also a allylic carbon this is also a allylic carbon and this is a also a allylic carbon so there is a possibility of oxidation in all the three places right but selenium oxide selenium dioxide oxidation takes place at the more substituted site so this part is the more substituted part this side this side if you look at this side this is the more substituted site okay so the oxidation will take place either in this allylic carbon hydrogen bond or in this allylic carbon hydrogen bond now if oxidation takes place over here then we will end up with a cis product and if oxidation takes place over here we will end up with a trans product right so since selenium dioxide oxidation leads to e selectivity that means the trans product the oxidation will takes place in this allylic ch bond that means we will get this product okay so between this two group this one is priority 1 uh, between this two this one is priority 1 so both priority 1 and 1 dash are in trans that is a e product right so next example let's say i have this type of system let's say we have this type of system so first of all we have to see which side is more substituted okay so if you look at the structure we can easily distinguish that this one is less substituted side and this portion is this part of the double bond is more substituted so oxidation will so there are two types of allylic ch so this is one allylic ch bond and this is also one allylic ch so oxidation will take place either in this ch or in this ch so as i have told earlier that if there is a ring present then oxidation will take place inside the ring so we will end up with this product so this is a product so more substituted and inside the ring now another example let's say we have this type of system and here you have some electron withdrawing group right any electron withdrawing group so if we give a selenium oxide so what will happen so this double bond is electron 
deficient due to the presence of this electron withdrawal group whereas this double bond is a electron rich system so oxidation will take place in this portion now if you look at the allylic carbon uh, if you if you look at the um, more substituted side so in this double bond this portion is singly substituted whereas this portion is doubly substituted so oxidation will take place so here oxidation will take place in this portion okay now again we we have to look for the a selectivity right so either this will get oxidized or this will get oxidized but if this gets oxidized it will get a trans product and if this get oxidized will get a cis product but since selenium dioxide oxidation is e selective the so oxidation takes place over here to end up with a trans product This is the electron return group. I will get the OH OG. Clear? So let's give uh, the last example. Uh, that is example based on the relay oxidation. So if we have this type of system, if we have a, this type of system, so if we give a selenium dioxide, so what will happen? So where is the active methylene carbon so this is our active methylene carbon this is an active methylene group right active ch2 group so this active ch2 group will give you a ketone okay so this is the product of this reaction so that's all for the for this video and thanks for watching